I think that people are really looking for um, efficiency in many ways. They want to meet as many people as they can, uh, and can is absolutely the place to do that. Uh, people want to understand what's new. People want to understand what's next. And because CAN is now um, sort of a, an amalgam of uh, its original creative, but now, of course, we have data intelligence and we have all kinds of technology, uh, all the different platforms. And so people sort of use CAN as a very efficient way to meet a lot of different companies and a lot of different people who have real implications for the future of their business. So it's, it's one of the most important gatherings of the year by far. This is the Can Lion Festival, which up until I think around 2008 was a creative conference. And it was a haven for the best creative directors globally to come together, look at each other's work, be inspired, know each other. And that was Can Lion for, I don't know, maybe over 50 years. And today we have marketers there on the business side. Um, where we have marketers, we have their agencies. And where you have marketers and agencies, you have media companies. And it started with the technology companies, and they are now a huge part of the audience there, the participants. Uh, and that, now we have uh, the big broadcasters came in last year, every single one of them. Um, so we have that side of the business, and then entertainment. Um, many, many people from the music industry and other, other forms of, of entertainment. It's not quite the Cannes Film Festival, um, but everything is, is converging as it is. And we're seeing the physical manifestation of that conversion um, at, at Cannes. If you think about what advertising is at its very core, advertising is about creating desire. And in order to do that brilliantly, it's great to have more information versus less. And so with the, the opportunity that technology gives us to be smarter about the consumer, and it's, it's, you know, people always talk about data as being the new black, it's the derivative of the data. It's the consumer insight that comes from that data that can help inform creative. And it also can help measure the impact in a way that we've never had before. So it's, it's used on, on either end creation and then looking at, at the business output um, of what, what creative uh, has caused action. So it's become a very, very important part of our world. It will never replace gut and intuition, and it's not designed to. It is designed to inform via consumer insight to help in the creative process when you're thinking about what is it that people will end up desiring. And so data has become a very important part of it. One of the biggest issues is talent. And the world has changed so much from the days when the marketer was the brand steward. And the consumer is now very, very much the, the steward. And so the role of the marketer, and again, given technology and data, the role of the marketer is very, very different than it was. Uh, and so talent, finding the right people, and you know, whoever thought in the media business we'd, we'd have data scientists. So finding the right people is very much on their minds. And um, I think that that, that is, is front and center for almost any marketer we talk about. Um, they're also concerned about having the right structure in order to be able to take full advantage of all things digital and to be able to have a structure that's fungible enough where they can make decisions and make changes in a much more rapid way than they, they ever have. So speed really matters right now, and it kills if you don't have it in this environment. So, and I think marketers are, are genuinely concerned about um, products that appeal to a new generation of consumers where they might not be producing those, or, and, and not only, uh, edibles necessarily, but you look at some of the most innovative companies like a Harry's um, Shave Club, and they're really looking at some of these disruptive companies and saying, am I on the right path? Am I going to be able to see when, when I'm confronted um, with a Harry's Dollar Shave Club? And what does that mean to me? And how do I need to think about learning about looking around corners so that I can future-proof uh, my company. So they're, they're, 
excited about a lot of things and concerned about a lot of things at the same time. But the conversations and the people at CAN uh, are designed to help uh, give people some direction.